Good day, mates, and welcome to the Smokers Lounge, the gaming commentators community channel where we can network with other commentators and help our channels grow. And today I am your host, Chris, and it's Monday. And on Mondays, we do YouTube tip of the week. And today's tip is going to be based on third party copyright notices. This is not a copyright strike. If you have a copyright strike, I'm very sorry to hear that. This is not the video for you, my friend. But, got a lot of information to go over. I hope it's going to be a good video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment, and let's get into it. Trying to get rid of my shoulder bumps. But if you don't have your camera set to mirror it, it could become a confusing experience. I just figured real quick before I change screens, I was going to basically tell you what influenced this video or what inspired this video. Uh, maybe about two weeks ago, a good friend of mine, Gunhearted, um, I don't know if you know him, uh, who was actually doing a video, he did a video yesterday on Freedom Fry, Fear, why can't I say that? Freedom Fry's channel, Freedom Fry's has Naked Sundays and... Uh, I'll leave a link down the bottom of this because uh, it was a good video and uh, I'm sure both of them appreciate it. But about two weeks ago, my boy Gunhearted did a Dead Space 3 video in which he was doing a walkthrough of the game. The game had just come out. week prior to that, I had done the Dead Space 3 beta and I ran into the same problem that he did. About, I think it was his second video in, he got a copyright notice strike or a third party a third party notification I don't know why I said strike notification that there was matched third party content on his video so he left down the bottom you know in his comment section um, I got this third party notice is this something that should concern me so then I scrolled down and I was looking um, was reading some of these comments and people were like oh man you're never gonna get fucking partner oh it's you gotta start a new channel now or you know oh, oh man you gotta get thrown off YouTube and I'm thinking to myself is that really what fucking people think about this shit so I, I just reply I'm like yo man don't worry about it just you know read the information you know it's not that big of a deal read the information decide what you gotta do that's it left it at that so Long story short, I decided to make this video, so I'm going to switch screens now. So basically, I'm going to break this video into four parts. First part is going to illustrate two out of the four ways in which I receive third-party notices at this channel. Um, the second part is going to illustrate a third-party notice. What happens when you get one, uh, and all the information in which you can get once you have one, I actually set out yesterday morning, Sunday morning, to get one purposely so I could make this video for you guys. Um, and then the third, uh, the fourth part, I'll be talking about uh, music and third-party notices regarding music, ways in which you can avoid it, uh, different places where you could get music without having to run into this problem. And uh, yeah, so gotta get right into this um, first. The first time I got a third party notice, I was making a trailer for the Black Ops 2 Revolution DLC. And for years I had uh, hopes and dreams of putting out that, you know, uh, Woody Gamer tag or T. Martin uh, video where you do a review on uh, a game trailer and you get 15 million fucking views. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work out that way because what. Woody's gamer tag and what T. Morin have is a partnership. And I'm a little channel. I don't have a partnership. Therefore, I don't have rights or advertising rights to that trailer. Um, being partnered has its privileges. That's it. Do I think it's fair? Well, at the time, I fucking didn't. I was cursing up a wall. I tried uploading that video a million different ways uh, to circumnavigate the third party strike. Didn't work out. And I finally came to the conclusion that it's fair. Again, YouTube and video games and uh, creating videos and all, all this, 
in the business sense, you know, it's fair in the business world. And that's just how it is. We could gripe about it, but it isn't going to help. The uh, Another time that I got a uh, third party notice was I was doing a walkthrough. I was doing the Dead Space 3 beta walkthrough. And I think it was my second video in that I actually got a third party notice. You know, it says point fifty-eight seconds into the video, third party content, uh, and then whatever its limited uses is. Um, why did I get this? Because during that gameplay, the gameplay went into a cutscene, or you know, yeah, a little cutscene, basically in which someone out of the game developers created this cutscene. And, uh, you know, they must put, I'm sure they put a lot of time and effort into it. It was their work. I did not have uh, rights to use that content in my video. Plain and simple. Um, you know, some people gripe and they say, oh, well, you know, that's uh, subject to or, uh, fair use. Uh, you know, we'll go into fair use in a couple minutes, but... I look at it this way. Someone went to college to create this. You know, someone makes a living out of developing video games. And if there's a part of that video game which is subject to copyright infringements or laws, you know, what am I going to do? That's life. That's just life. And we have to deal with it. And I'm going to show you during this video different ways in which you could at least prepare yourself for times that this might happen and basically try to avoid it if you're a small channel I guarantee you that within your first hundred uploads you are gonna get a third party notice it's just inevitable but as time goes on you will learn to avoid them and that's really your best bet if you wanna make YouTube a business or you are serious about YouTube like anything else any other hobby you want to arm yourself with as much information as possible and I'm here to help you do that so let's jump right into fair use I guess alright fair use Wikipedia my best friend anything you fucking want to know right here where is it I saw it before fair use is a doctrine that is that permits limited use of copyrighted material without acquisition of permission from the right the rights holders limited means unless you're intending to take this shit to the Supreme Court you're not getting away with using fair use as a legitimate excuse for uploading third-party material it's just how it is man I mean again all this in the end it really boils down to dollars and cents and there are people that make a living out of this and you can't screw them that's all so yesterday I set out to get a third party notice and uh, I had a hard time actually if you were following me on Twitter because I wasn't thinking straight I'm, I'm sick and I'm, I was getting sick yesterday and uh, I wasn't thinking straight and I was trying to upload different cutscenes from Activision and EA and it just wasn't working until I was like duh fucking music so I uploaded a Marilyn Manson video and uh, I finally I got a uh, third party strike here got a little uh, little exclamation point and it says video blocked in some countries it might say uh, video globally banned it might say uh, uh, it, it could say a couple different things actually I don't remember all of them this one just says video blocked in some countries now there's another way in which you might get a third party notice and not even know you have one if you have your mind that monetization turned on and you ever see a little exclamation point it might not say next to the video that you have third party content or a third party dispute in content but that little exclamation point means someone else is making money off your video basically um, I don't 
I don't generate any income from this channel. Um, in some cases, you guys might generate some income from my channel because if I have monetization or, or a third party notice on my channel, that means that any revenue generated uh, from a video that my, I might have uploaded with your content, any monies is going directly to you or your partnership. However, it might work. I don't generate anything. So, I got my third party notice here. Oh no! What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm freaking out. No, I'm not freaking out. I'm relaxed and I'm gonna follow the steps. Alright, I go to my copyright notices in my video manager. It's gonna illustrate the any videos in which you might have a third party notice on. Again, this is not a copyright strike. YouTube should really clarify that a little bit better so people don't freak the fuck out. This will have no negative impact on your YouTube channel or career. Um, there are steps as easy as just removing the video. If you remove the video, no one's ever even going to know it was there. Trust me. Um, partners won't know it was ever there. And frankly, partners or networks nowadays have become very relaxed on third party notices. Um, now, not to say that it's a good thing. They're going to basically overlook that you ever had them. But they don't want you to keep getting them. Because if you keep getting them, what's going to happen is they are not going to generate any income from your channel. You are not going to generate any income from your channel. The only people that's going to benefit is whoever has that third party notice. And that's not good for the business world. That's just how it is. Luckily, if you're in with a network, a good network, you're going to have some uh, guidance through your peers and as well as different resources in which you could really uh, avoid ever getting any third party notices. It's really a smaller channels or channels that are growing that are going to encounter it more and more. So again, I'm in my copyright notices. Now I'm going to click on uh, video blocked in some countries. Why is a video blocked? Well, if I click on here, it's going to take me to the actual video. And it's going to explain. Uh, Marilyn Manson, Tainted Love album, sound, recorded, administrated by UMI, G. 22 seconds in. 22 seconds in means that that's where when your channel, when you're uploading a video, once the upload's done, it goes through that processing that you know system. A couple things happen. One, it checks the video for quality. You know, if you ever get that, oh, your video shaky shit, that it comes out of that whole video processing. Also, during video processing, it's going through a comprehensive scan to see if you have any copyrighted material. It's not actual human doing this. It's a computer, and it's processing. You gotta believe it's processing about 50,000 videos a minute. So it's doing this quick scan. It picks it up at 22 seconds in. Boom. It throws this notice up on your channel. Now what does this mean? Well, I know that this means that the video is blocked in some countries. Again, this could say it's blocked globally. Um, it could say uh, a whole bunch of different things. I don't remember all of them you can just simply click on acknowledge and what's going to happen is you can continue to run the video it's basically saying yeah I know I fucked up or yeah I know I have third party content that's fine with me whoever's making revenue off this video could go right ahead doing it I just want the rights to show it we're all good Humpty Dory Everybody, everybody's happy excuse me I'm still getting over a cold a little bit here Determine what happened in your video. Alright, if you continue, wait, I think, where did I do this? I clicked on your video is blocked in some countries, and that takes you to determine what happened in your video. Alright, I got a copyright notice. It's not a copyright strike, it's a, basically a third party has claimed uh, rights to some part of my video, but they are allowing me to play it they don't give a shit as long as they're making some money off it they're happy now 
again if you get a copyright notice it's gonna exclamation point your video is getting removed you will know if you get a copyright notice trust me it's not like oh I'm not sure what happened no if you got a copyright notice one of two things happen it's either really really bad luck or you intentionally fucking rob someone of their material that's it you know and uh, I don't know I I know one or, I know two I know one guy that actually had a bout of bad luck with it um, and then I know another guy who or I seen another channel which was just removed and I seen that the channel was going to be removed after two three videos I was like no nah, this ain't right dude but uh yeah we're gonna stay away from copyright strike strikes uh, I'm not that well informed in them so I'm not gonna speak about it right here but uh yeah there's a whole bunch of useful links YouTube if you go to help and type in uh, third party notice or copyright it's gonna take you here man and basically what it is you got all these different leaks what had what do I have a strike on my account um, what happens to my video you know and I tell you what make that YouTube help section your best friend um, again being well informed informed is being well armed how content ID works again on YouTube help okay basically it, it explains right here in black and white once I have a third party notice what happens alright monetization any ads you might have an ad appear on that video now why because the producer of that video wants an ad on it if you don't want that ad on your channel well then you gotta delete the video that's it but any money that's coming off that video is definitely going to the copyright holder that's it blocked alright some people it might be blocked uh, globally it might be blocked in certain countries because certain countries don't allow graphic gameplay or this or that um, also in some rare cases any views that are generated by that video being on your channel is going directly to the uh, creator of that video that's it that happens to me often because I upload a lot of your gameplays I do a lot of uh, I feature a lot of your channels a lot of your gameplays on my channel to help promote you and you actually in most cases are getting any views off my freaking video that I produced for you that's it that's how it works I understand that that's why I can legitimately say I am here to help your channel grow but uh yeah um I've had usually just my EA or Activision uh, trailer videos have been globally blocked and again that is because networks have special rights to that advertising they've signed contracts with advertising countries for that video and they are in deserve of it that's it and at this point now in my YouTube career I understand that okay at the end of the day after your third party notice after you're freaking out if you go to uh, your YouTube settings and you check on uh, features in your features here it tells you your community guidelines good standing copyright strikes good standing if you had one it would illustrate it right there believe me content ID claims I'm in good standing most of the time um, if I do get an outright third party notice I will re remove the video within the first week um, for two reasons one I'll keep it up so that my dedicated subscribers can see that video but once they have seen it I'm not going to leave it up there to continue generating views because at some point I might not want it there if I ever go to get partnership I don't want that there anymore as well as I don't want to generate 10 million views or 10,000 views over the course of a year 
only to have it taken down you know 12 months later because once it comes down I am in understanding that at the moment once you delete that video the views will go with it I'm not sure that's a little shady or gray area with YouTube at the moment I know it was true for a while I think they might have reverted back to the views stay with the channel not 100% sure maybe one of you guys know that but still in good standing a lot of the times you'll come across it with music um, and there's a real easy way to a first figure out if you're gonna even get it before you even upload a song on your gameplay or over one of your videos do yourself a favor just type the fucking song into YouTube guarantee you someone already got it up on their channel and uh, like here for example uh, KRS one man sounded the police woo woo and uh, yeah typed it in boom right there see that little album cover right there I don't remember who it is it might be MGM or uh, Epic Records I don't know someone's got a claim on this content already this channel already has a third party notice on this recorded or this recording of the music right off the bat so now I already know if I, I'm not gonna put this in my video because that means I'm gonna get a third party notice too there are lots of places in which you could get copyright free music um, yeah it does take some time to go out and find it and it sucks when the song that you had envisioned in your mind is already copyrighted or has a third party notice on it and it's like oh man back to drawing board yeah well life isn't fair motherfuckers that's how it is uh, I'm just gonna tell you how it is straight you could go easily into YouTube uh, you go to your audio after you upload your video and you want to add uh, enhancements or audio to your video Look at all this copyrighted free music. If I type in a search, man, I could literally search tens of thousands of songs which are copyrighted free. Some of them are instrumental, some of them are with lyrics, some of them are five minutes long, some of them are 20 seconds long, some of them are bumps, some of them are, you know, I could go on and on. Lots of free copy, uh, uncopyrighted music right here at your disposal thanks to YouTube this is a great thing alright you want to find something original alright you can do that too I like uh, what is this iCloud or SoundCloud my boy Clever Tricks he uploads a lot to SoundCloud he is an aspiring act uh, rapper from Canada and he was the first person to actually introduce me to SoundCloud there are just like there are game commentators that want to be exposed and want people to see their gameplay there are thousands of musicians out there which are just like us man they want exposure they want people to hear their music and they are willing to let you use their music on your videos a lot of times they actually encourage it they will do anything to get their music on your video because now 150 of your subscribers seen and heard their music they're going to their SoundCloud page and downloading their music and it perpetuates from there and they are thankful for it don't just rob shit from SoundCloud but form relationships with inspiring young uh, musicians that are willing to work with your channel um, and form a relationship with them and ask them hey I would like to use this bump on my channel can I go right the fuck ahead I that's it um, I know Clever's been uh, very active as far as letting people put uh, his uh, music in montages trailers uh, intros everything it's great man last but not least I'm gonna give a, a quick shout out Mortarman TV is part of the next gaming network. Um, I 
set out a couple of days ago I knew I was going to make this video today and I was I tried to do as much research as possible um, even as far as going getting a third party copyright sh strike or notification not strike I don't know why I say that YouTube should really clarify that whole thing but notification on my channel and I was researching and I found only one good video regarding the whole topic and uh, Mortar Man TV did it and I want to give my respects to his channel and his gaming network it was a great video I'm going to leave a link in the bottom I hope you enjoyed this video again I was just coming off I'm still coming out of the having a flu so uh, look forward to joining you guys tomorrow love you all peace enjoy have a good day Click on the screen now. Go check out today's feature video. You never know. It might be one of yours. And give our brother some love. Peace, guys.